I've had several people ask me how they can include a pretest in a project before the learner is presented with a real quiz. In Captivate version 6 and 7, you are provided with a pretest option. So check it out. From the quiz menu, you choose Pretest Question Slide. The Insert Questions dialog box that appears is very much the same dialog box you get when you insert standard question slides. You can choose multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, on a go. So if I were to choose multiple choice and true, false, I could then decide how many of each of those question types I want to use. I'm going to press cancel because I've already added some pretest questions, slides number one and two. Things to note. Slide number three is a regular question slide. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. Let me go a little bit closer, like 100%. If I scroll over, you can see that I've got my number of questions on this particular slide. Now that's controlled through quiz, quiz preferences, settings, show progress. Let me get out of this dialog. So this is question one of two. And let me scroll down. Here's my second question. Notice that neither one of my pretest questions have the progress on there. So that's one difference between a standard question slide and a pretest question slide. Something else. If I go to slide number one, which is a pretest question, and take a look at my quiz properties, there is an edit pretest action area. If I click that, I can control what my learner's experience if they answer the pretest questions right or wrong. If I don't do anything with these advanced actions, take a look at what happens if I run the quiz. I'm going to preview the project. This first question, best vacation spot, I don't know, Siberia, click Submit. Notice I didn't get any feedback. I can set up feedback for these pretest questions, but I got that one wrong. Is the sky blue? True. Well, that's 50%. I'll click Submit. Now I'm on to the real questions. Notice that this is question one of two. The pretest questions weren't counted. The best breakfast cereal? Definitely Cap Crunch. I'll get this next one wrong. Ah, oh, false. On my results screen, notice I got 50%. I'm going to go ahead and close the preview. Just to show you where the percentages are kept, I'm going to go to my quiz menu again. I'm going to choose Quiz Preferences. Select Pass or Fail. And this is where I set the percentage or more of total points to pass. Again, I've got it set to 50%. You can position the pretest questions maybe at the front third of your project, maybe a couple of more near the middle of the project, and then at the end, present your learners with the actual grading quiz.